one fine technical institution which doesn't come under JOSA counseling but still uses JE advanced scores for its uh, admissions is IIST. A lot of students ask me, uh, we are interested in aerospace, which one should we prefer? So the foremost engineering college uh, for aeronautical or aerospace engineering as it's called now is Indian Institute of Space Technology, which is run by ISRO itself. So in today's video, we'll quickly look at the admission process and the cutoffs and the important dates for IAST admissions in this year, okay? So let's first see the courses at uh, Indian Institute of uh, Space Technology, IAST, Tiruvananthapuram. So they offer two four-year BTEC courses, one in aerospace engineering, the other is electronics and communication engineering. Earlier it was called avionics. Now it's called electronics and communication engineering. Then they also offer a five-year dual degree program. It's a B.Tech plus Master of Science or Master of Technology. So what are the uh, options there? You have Master of Science in Astronomy and Astrophysics. You have Master of Science in Solid State Physics. You have M.Tech in Earth System Science. And you have M.Tech in Optical Engineering. So how are these uh, specializations decided? At the end of the sixth semester, that is at the end of the third year, uh, based on your performance and based on the availability of seats, you will be allotted a particular branch, a particular specialization among all these. So you have a five-year dual degree program also at IAST. So what is the number of seats? The number of seats is something like this. BTEC in aerospace engineering is uh, 60 and 6 for EWS quota, so totally 66. Then you have BTEC in electronics and communication engineering, earlier called avionics, 60 plus 6, 66. It's again a four-year course. And the dual degree BTEC and Master of Science or Master or MTech program, 20 plus 2, 2 for EWS quota. So the other reservations uh, for SC, ST, OBC, as per government norms, apply in this 60, 60, and 20. All right. Now, let's look at... Uh, the cutoffs last year, 2020, these cutoffs indicate JE advanced scores, JE advanced percentages, all right? So in BTEC Aerospace Engineering, for general category, in 2020, the cutoff was 29.8% and 34.14% in 2019. Admittedly, last year, 2020, the paper was a little tough and cutoffs have fallen, not here, but not only here, not only in IAST, but all over. EWS 24.75, OBC 21.72, SC 10.35%. Then uh, electronics and communication engineering, corresponding figures for 2020, 28.28, EWS is 23.48, OBC is 21.46, and SC 9.85. And for the dual degree program, it is 28.79 open category. EWS is 23.23. OBC is 21.21. SC is 11.11. And ST is 13.13%. So this was last year's cutoff. And 2019 cutoffs are also there. You can take a screenshot of that if you are interested here. Okay. So that is about IAST cutoff. So based on... Your performance this year, you can take a guess. And I think this year's cutoff will be somewhere between 2020 and 2019. So that's how it is going to be. Okay. Now, in terms of important dates, the admission process has already started as of yesterday. So the opening of online registration, 8th October. The closing of online registration, 20th October. So up to 20th October, you've got this online registration portal open. You can go and apply online. Then IST admission rank list will be published by on 21st October. Now, what's the meaning of the rank list? So what happens is for all the students who have applied, based on their JE advanced score, IST will assign a rank. So you know what is the competition like based on your rank. All right. So that is something that you will get on 21st October. Then... The modification of branch and freezing of your options, you can do till 22nd October. So if you want to modify your branches or whatever, after the rank list comes out, you can do it 
till 22nd October and 22nd October is the last date for finalizing your branch choices. Uh, basically, the branch choices are aerospace, electronics and five-year dual degree. All right. And then your seat allotment acceptance rounds tentatively, it's not fixed, but tentatively they'll start from 23rd. So in a matter of a few days from 23rd, the entire process will get over. So if you are interested in a fine technical institution based on your advanced score and you've seen the cutoffs, so not fancy, I think uh, if you fall in that category, if you fall in that range, you should be seriously looking at IAST. One additional thing about IAST is that uh, there are uh, certain um, offers in ISRO which will be made to students based on the performance in the program. So till the end of the sixth semester, that means till the end of the uh, third year, if you average a seven CGPA, you'll be eligible to sit for interviews. And based on your performance in the interviews, you will be given offers in ISRO with the condition that by the time you finish your BTEC, that is at the end of your four year or five year, you should get a minimum of 7.5 CGPA. So to get a job in ISRO, basically you should be getting 7.5 CG, CGPA in your entire four year or five year career. But to sit for the interview at the end of your sixth semester, you can sit for the interview with even seven CGPA and you can make up for the deficit in the next one year. But based on your performance, in the interview, you will get these jobs in ISRO. So that is the added advantage if you go for IIST. All right. So all those students who are interested in aerospace, you should be looking seriously at this option based on your uh, JE advanced score. Okay. All the best. Right.